Ready to repeat, living up to the name by two lengths, working the table, a master spy on the outside, ready to repeat, well ahead, Gospel Way starting to run on, but it's ready to repeat, putting a big gap on rivals, and has just run them into the ground again, ready to repeat by three or four lengths to master spy, Gospel Way, and down to the wire, ready to repeat, does just that in the Victoria Stakes by almost three lengths. Welcome back to another edition of the Racing Rundown here on YouTube. I'm Eric DeCoster. In this edition, we will be previewing the Grade 1 Summer Stakes for two-year-olds. Uh, all these are Colts uh, going a mile at Woodbine, uh, just around their, their one turn, uh, their, their expansive tra uh, track. I mean, uh, if you follow Woodbine at all or you're familiar with the track, you know exactly what I'm talking about, $250,000 purse. Uh, I'm so excited for this race, and uh, it's sister race than a Tom of this upcoming Sunday. Uh, combines my two favorite things, two-year-olds, young, young, uh, improving racehorses, and mile races on the grass. I don't think there's a much better combo than that. Uh, certainly my favorite kind of racing. We, uh, we have seven entered here. I imagine all seven will go. Uh, and there have been no indications otherwise. And uh, let's get right into it. Let's waste no more time. Uh, we'll start with the one download. This is one of a couple local horses in here. You have uh, really uh, three shippers. Uh, coming from from out of town up to Canada for this race, Download is uh, one of the the hometown horses. Uh, all I think are very strong. Download coming off a maiden win in his last start at Woodbine, going seven furlongs. Uh, he had been well beaten in his two efforts before that, beaten ten lengths and twelve lengths respectively, um, including two back behind another horse in this race by the name of Ready to Repeat. Uh, but th that last race was his first run. Uh, stretching out his first race on the grass showed great improvement over the same kind of dimension he'll race over. Uh, this upcoming Sunday, and he beat another horse in this race, uh, Dolder Grand, who we'll talk about, obviously, in a moment. Uh, but that was a nice one. I was I was certainly impressed with it. Thought he ran very well. Um, it, it's a great improvement. Um, I don't really know how he's going to contend. I think the Americans are very tough in this group. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, he has the, the experience over the course and the win, so that always has to bode well. Uh, Michael DiPaolo, local trainer, uh, is, is, uh, is the conditioner here. Uh, for this Ontario bred colt in uh, Daisuke Fukumoto, uh, who actually rode the Queen's Plate winner last weekend, uh, he will have them out. The two is Secret Potion, a maiden coming in for Chad Brown was second beaten a half length by American Monarch, also in this race. Uh, he went and tried to go wire to wire there, got, got nabbed at the uh, in the shadow of the wire, uh, and I'm going a mile and a 16th. That is one big thing about this this horse. He is cutting back a 16th of a mile, which uh, will probably benefit him greatly. Not that he can't go that distance necessarily, but uh, you know, pedigree-wise, it's definitely a bit more miler being by into mischief. And uh, it definitely would have benefited him a slightly shorter race last time out. He definitely did uh, get mowed down late. So I think I think that was a great effort, though. He lost to a good horse in the process. Probably wins if it's shorter, like I, you know, continually mentioned. And uh, for that reason, I think he is pretty dangerous, uh, working very strong into this race um, as well. I think he uh, he has every chance in the world in here. And I – but. I mean, I'm not confident he'll be favored, but I'd like to think he will be just, you know, the Chad Brown effect. And I imagine a lot of people are kind of seeing the same angles I am here uh, with this horse. And I think that if he is favored, you're going to get some nice prices on some nice horses otherwise. The three is ready to repeat. This is a horse personally who I've been very impressed with. That last run was probably his worst career race uh, in the soaring free, uh, that, the, the local prep for this one. He was third beating a length and a half, going six and a half furlongs on this turf course. And it wasn't a bad effort, but... He's a horse I really feel just has natural speed and needs to show it at all times. And uh, I don't, it wasn't intentional. He, he didn't break the sharpest and as a result got kind of shuffled back. Uh, and as a result, finished third. But he was finishing well. He just kind of flat throughout the race. Two efforts and three efforts ago, though, were very impressive wins. One on the turf at Woodbine, one on the all-weather track, including a stake score. That, those were both very good efforts. It went wire to wire. Uh, just had a lot of natural speed that he flaunted. I think he needs to do that if he wants to have any chance of here. Uh, if anything, he's a pace presence. This is a horse, like I said, personally, I really like. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of things that have impressed me with him. Uh, therefore, he has he has all my attention here, ready to repeat to be ridden by Luis Contreras. The four is Gretzky the Great. He won the Soaring Free by a neck in his last start. The second place finisher uh, is not in this race, but the third place finisher, ready to repeat, who we just talked about, is. So uh, we already know there's some strong form coming out of that race. Uh, he's had a very good stocking trip in second before pouncing and winning by a neck in that win. Uh, two starts ago, he broke his maiden uh, on an off-the-turf race, so on the all-weather at Woodbine, going wire-to-wire, -wire, winning by four and a quarter length. It was a very nice win, and there's been some good form from there. Uh, that was career start number two, though. In his debut, he lost ready to repeat. So those two have both split a pair uh, of races when they faced each other. 
Um, so that I, I, I think Gretzky's grades definitely improved from that. And uh, I mean, workout wise, you talk about impressive. He's been working lights out on the grass on the the dirt training track at Woodbine. It's been very impressive. Uh, Mark Cassie's the trainer, first crop son of Nyquist, who's having a good start to, to his stallion career this year. And uh, Kazushi Kimura is aboard. Uh, he's been aboard for all of his races. He's been riding very well up at Woodbine, uh, that young uh, jockey who took home champion apprentice in the U.S. last year. So I think Gretzky is great. Another one with a lot of potential coming into this race. The five American Monarch, we've kind of already touched on him. This is a son of American Pharaoh, uh, a homebred here for trainer Bill Mott. Uh, uh, Bill Mott, the trainer, the owner, Mike Rutherford, is the breeder. Obviously, this colt uh, broke his maiden at first asking, which Bill Mott had a very strong, if you were following the young, the two-year-old races at uh, Saratoga this this summer, you saw how well Bill Mott was doing with his young horses. Generally, Bill Mott, uh, I mean, he gives off the impression because historically, his horses usually need a race or two. They need a, a race or two to kind of find their footing, get, get, uh, get used to the racetrack. Not this summer. They were really running. American Monarch being one of them. Uh, I know I, I was really happy because he hit a nice 7-1 to one price for me on that day. Uh, beating Secret Potion among some other pretty good horses. Pivotal Mission, the horse who was third, is graded stakes place since that race. Or, uh, not graded stakes place, yeah, stakes place at Kentucky down since then. So some really strong form in that race. He was actually scheduled to run in the with uh, American Monarch was scheduled to run in the with anticipation that got rained off the turf at Saratoga a few weeks ago. Uh, I, th- I like this spot a lot. My biggest concern is the cutback and distance. Um, this is a horse who I think can run all day. He's very big, very rangy. Uh, you, just a, a kind of horse you, you would admit in only improving with age and distance and pedigree-wise. That's kind of what that would suggest. But nevertheless, he is here, and I don't think it's bad. We've, we've seen horses being, I mean, decorated invader. He's one, I think. I kind of had that same opinion on him last year. Didn't go with him on the day. He proved me wrong. I don't want to make that same mistake this time around. American Monarch, uh, I, I, this is one I, I'm basically saying right now. I'm going to pick him. I think he's a very talented horse. Uh, the rider, Justin Stein, I might also add, he has been riding very well, won a couple stakes last weekend on Queen's Plate weekend, and uh, I think he, he's only going to carry that momentum into uh, this, this uh, Woodbine Mile slash Natalma and Summer weekend. The sixth heat of the night broke his name at Goldstream in his last start. Uh, that was really only two weeks ago. I mean, uh, just over two weeks ago. Uh, very nice win, no doubt. Had a good stocking trip, finished strongly. Uh, posted a you know pretty solid time. I mean, not going to break any records, but good for a debut winner. Um, and he's been he trained very well into that race. He has had one maintenance work since then. Uh, now he comes in here. I, I feel like he's just a, he's very unproven compared to the rest. I think he'll probably be the longest shot on the board, if not uh, you know second or third longest. Uh, that was a nice win, but the the strength of those two year old races at Goldstream is is really not there. And for that reason, I'm a little skeptical. Tim Ham, the trainer. He's having a very good year, though. Uh, he had a two-year-old winner in a grade stakes uh, day out of the office uh, at Saratoga when she took the Schuylerville. So he, he's doing well with his two-year-old, like he always does. And uh, um, I, so that, I think that's really the only angle I can find, though. Uh, nothing else on paper or visually is really telling me this horse, Heat of the Night, is going to step up and be able to beat some of the top horses in this race. The seven is Dolder Grand. We also touched on him. He was in that download maiden race where he finished third beating less than two lengths. Good race. Uh, he took some contact down the lane, still, you know, finished very strongly. He was heavily favored on the day, uh, probably because he was an $800,000 two-year-old in training, uh, being by Candy Ride. Honestly, I'm a little surprised they've been running this one on the grass. The, the pedigree itself, uh, I mean, I, I know the dam has some, some, some turf in, you know, throughout. But at the end of the day, it's kind of a dirt pedigree. So I'm a little surprised to see him coming back on the grass. He didn't run back last time. I feel like he can only improve, but... Uh, it was first asking, and at second, you know, second start out, you always hope for improvement. I imagine we'll see it. And he's working very strong. He's posted nice works on the grass. Uh, this is another Mark Cassie runner. He also has uh, the four Gretzky the Great. But in all honesty, uh, I know there's a horse like Secret Potion who comes in here as a maiden, not a winner, and can only improve. But I feel like if I, if, if I was to pick between the two horses that are yet to post a win, I feel like Secret Potion probably outmatches Dolder Grand because while he sure he had some trouble – and it was his first time out. Yeah, he, he was still well beaten on the day by download with the experience. And I just feel like some of these other horses are probably trending a little bit better, in my opinion. However, I could see a great argument being made for Golder Grand based off the works and the improvement factor. He's just one I'm looking against in this spot. Uh, going into the pace scenario just a little bit, uh, Secret Potion, ready to repeat. I think ready to repeat will be on top with Secret Potion up there with him as well. I imagine Gretzky the Great is going to sit a nice stocking trip. Uh, with the likes of horses like American Monarch and Heat of the Night. They're all going to be right up there. And Download probably as well. 
Uh, really the only horse that we've ever seen come from off the pace is the seven, Dolder Grand. So if you are expecting a pace collapse, I think that's another good argument there for the seven horse. I am going to go with American Monarch on top. Like I already said, I was very impressed by that win last time out. I think, I think uh, I mean, coming from the Belmont barn, you can only improve second time out. So the fact he was able to win at first asking was mighty impressive. Uh, underneath, I will go ready to repeat. I think he's much better than that last effort. I feel like he'll provide some good value with uh, with what he's done. And he's just a very nice horse. And uh, I expect big things from him here. And I will uh, use Secret Potion underneath. I think Chad Brown, uh, his barn is firing on all cylinders. They were doing great at Kentucky Downs. I imagine that form will translate this weekend up to Woodbine for their big races. And uh, I think he's going to run good. I just do think that those two front runners are going to get after each other just enough to allow a horse from just off the pace to come get it. So uh, that, that, that's 5-3-2 there. American Monarch, ready to repeat. Secret Potion, my top three. However, I, I think really you could use anybody in here and it would make some good sense. That's all I have for you guys on this preview. We'll see you uh, more this weekend for some more uh, Woodbine previews, and uh, stay tuned. we got a lot of good uh, you know, good information, good insight coming over the next few weeks as we prep for British Cup season. We'll see you next time. Leader by about a length and three quarters. Remains into the sunrise. Gretzky the Great under a left-handed stick trying to make up the ground is all out. So is ready to repeat. Into the sunrise. Down to the final furlong. Holding the lead by a length to Gretzky the Great and ready to repeat. Gretzky the Great trying desperately. Into the sunrise in front and into the sunrise a neck. And Gretzky the Great lunges now and just gets up at the wire. Gretzky the Great muscled over the top to win it.